Hey yo! What is good, gang? It's the Lorvels back with another YouTube video today. And as y'all can see by the thumbnail and the title, we will be doing another 82 and 0. Yes, this is the second episode of 82 and 0 on my channel. If you have not watched the first one, go back and watch the first one so y'all can get the feel for the second. But let's get right into this. Boom. So what we're gonna do, obviously, y'all already know we got the spin the wheel coming. And the spin the wheel is gonna determine our jerseys and the six players we will be using for this 82 and 0 challenge. So without further ado, let's get into the spin the wheel. Alright gang, we back with the spin the wheel. Let's see who we get as our first draft pick. Here we oh, go man. again. And we get the Blazers. Alright, we're gonna pick Dame Tom this time, bro. Damian Lillard. Alright, after that crazy pick, let's see who we're gonna get for the second spot. <laughs> oh man, we just got the Pelicans. All right, we're going to take Prime AD. Prime AD Davis, fam. Time for the third pick. Now, we really do need a step in here, so come on, bro. They give us something good. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, nah, bro. They just gave us Chef Curry. We want the chef, bro. We want him. And as your brother, so he has the bitches the first of the month. Ran, ran, I'm in the guy, and the bitch in my chair, the city, I'm afraid of the sun. All right, come on. After that goaded pick, bro, we need come on, bro. I can't do a sad, bro. Don't do a sad. Oh, yes, bro. Give me Larry Bird, bro. I want the bird. All right, now it's time for the fifth pick to round out our starting five. Let's see what we're going to get. The paces? All right, bro. We'll pick up PG-13. Paul George. We want him. All right, gang. As I know in the last video, we did pick up a six man. So let's see who we get and we get the pace. All right, when I looked at the all time team, Mel Davis was the highest rated. He's a center. So, yeah, we're going to pick him up for our six man spot. All right, gang, now it's time to see what jerseys we're going to be rocking. All right, the T Wolves, I'll take it. And that will conclude our 82 0 draft. Let's get into this simulation to see if we could actually go 82 0 with this squad. All right, gang, now that we're done with the spin the wheel, let's just give y'all a little refresher of what our lineup is going to look like. All right, so here we are in the coach game plan menu, and as y'all can see, Steph Curry will be at the point guard spot starting. Paul George will be the starting shooting guard. Larry Bird will keep his position and start at small forward. Mel Daniels, I think that's what his name is. Yeah, Mel Daniels will be starting at the power forward, and then we have Anthony Davis at the center, and Dame Tom will be coming off the bench. So without further ado... Let's get into this simulation. Okay, gang, so our first two games we caught Doves. We lost to the Pelicans, even though we had just beat them like, like two days before. But so far, so good. As y'all can see, gang, a lot of Doves coming across the board. We have lost two games so far. I think one to the Pelicans and one to the Mavericks. Next loss, we will stop and see how we lost. And as soon as I say that, but let's get into it and see how we lost to the Utah Jazz. All right, gang, starting off with the Jazz. As y'all can see, Donovan Mitchell had 33 points. Jordan Clarkson had 23. Mike Conley with 15. Bogdan had 14. And Rudy Gobert had 14 as well. Their shooting performances weren't the best, but when y'all take a look at our shooting performances, they definitely did better than us. Okay, now moving on to our team stats. As y'all can see, Steph Curry had 24 points, 11 assists, and shot 8 for 13, and he only made two three-pointers out of the six he shot. Paul George had 21 points. He shot six for 18. Like, come on, bro. What is this? One for eight from three-point? That's crazy. At least him and Steph Curry were hitting their free throws. Larry Bird had 21 points, 12 rebounds, and six assists. That's a good stat line, but that shooting performance is not the best, especially not for Larry Bird. Damian Lillard had 15 points, two rebounds. Five assists and shot six for ten. That's not too bad. Mel Daniels had 13 points, 16 rebounds. And Anthony Davis, who played 33 minutes, had six points, nine rebounds, and shot three for 11. AD, what are you doing, my boy? You're like the second, third highest rated player on the team. And you're, come on, bro. We No. We have to tighten up. We could still have a record with 80 wins, bro. Let's get to it. All right, gang. As y'all can see, coming from the All-Star break, we took back-to-back -to -back losses. One to the Memphis Grizzlies, another to the 76ers. This is just crazy. 
And we're about to close out the season. So let's see if we can close out this season strong, bro. We need to close. We lost to the Nuggets. Great. That's great. All right, boys, the 2022-2023 NBA season is now over, so let's take a look at these performance awards. As y'all can clearly see, Larry Bird went ahead and won MVP with 22.5 points, 8.2 rebounds, 8.1 assists, 2 steals per game, 0.3 blocks, and, of course, his shooting percentage for the year was immaculate. Damian Lillard, of course, went to go on and win 6th man of the year. He had 19.5 points, 2.6 rebounds, 7.6 assists, one steal a game, 0.2 blocks, and of course, his shooting off the charts. And him being a six man is basically a cheat. He should never be a six man because look at the stat line. That's crazy. Coach of the year goes to Chris Finch. Yes, he is the head coach of the Minnesota Timberwolves. And as y'all can see, we went 75 and 7. We have not yet been able to capture that 82 and 0, but I feel like it's coming. 75 and 7 is not that bad and I actually think that's the same record that we had for the first episode I would have to go check now that the performance awards are over we are now at the all NBA teams and as y'all can see Larry Bird he made all NBA first team for some reason Anthony Davis went and won all NBA third team like I don't even understand how he could be that good didn't get defensive player of the year, got all NBA third team. Like, bro, come on, AD. That was not the performance we wanted from you. But, hey, we still got more games to play. Now, my team didn't win as much, you know, all NBA honors as I would have liked them to or like the people did on the last episode. But to round out our all NBA team selections, Mel Daniels did, in fact, win all defensive second team. It's not all defensive first team, but hey, at least he made an all defensive team. Okay, now before we hop into the playoffs, let's just take a minute and look at our team status. Obviously, we went 75 and 7. We led the Western Conference. Um, we won 37 home games, lost four. We won 38 home games and lost three. Nani? But as y'all can see, all in all, we had a monster season, really. As y'all can see for the playing tournament games, it will be the 7th seed Denver Nuggets versus the 8th seed Sacramento Kings and the 9th seed Golden State Warriors versus the 10th seed San Antonio Spurs. Whoever wins these games will move on and then whoever wins that next game will be versing me in the first round of the 2022-2023 NBA playoffs. So without further ado, as I always say, I know it might get old, but that's just me. Let's get into it. All right, boys, as y'all can see, the Sacramento Kings moved on after beating the Denver Nuggets, and so did the Warriors after beating the San Antonio Spurs. Now, whoever wins this game will be versing me in the first round of the playoffs. I'm not saying that that's a good thing because we're most likely going to sweep them, but let's see who gets the honor. Okay, boys, as y'all can see, the Golden State Warriors, they were hungry. They were ready. They wanted to get into the actual playoff bracket, and they actually did. But unfortunately for them, they have to verse us in the first round. So without further ado, once again, let's get into the simulation of the first round of the playoffs. All right, after simulating the first round of the playoffs, we, like I said, did go on to sweep the Golden State Warriors. The Jazz ended up being the Los Angeles Clippers 4-2 to end up getting the honor of versing us in the second round. I'm not going to call them lucky, but hey, they made it. Um, the New Orleans Pelicans went up 4-2 on the Phoenix Suns, and they moved on. And then the Memphis Grizzlies had a close game with the Denver Nuggets, but they still came out on top. Now for the Eastern Conference, Brooklyn beat the Charlotte Hornets 4-1, moved on. Milwaukee beat the Heat 4-3, close game, but they still moved on. Again, the Celtics beat the Bulls, close game, still moved on. And the Hawks went and swept the 76ers to move on. So now let's get into the second round and see who will be making the conference finals. All right, gang, after simulating that second round, as y'all can see, we beat the Utah Jazz 4-1 and then the New Orleans Pelicans went on to beat the Memphis Grizzlies 4-1 as well. And it's crazy because the Memphis Grizzlies are a higher seed than them. So the Western Conference Finals will be the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Moving on to the Eastern Conference, the Brooklyn Nets went and fell to the Milwaukee Bucks 
and the Milwaukee Bucks ended up moving on. And then the Atlanta Hawks again caught another sweep against the Boston Celtics. I don't know what's going on with Trey right now, but Trey wants that bucket. He wants that ring. Like he's not playing, bro. He swept both of his his t- he swept both of his opponents, bro. Like I'm stuttering because I can't even believe it. But without further ado, let's simulate these conference finals and see what two teams will be taking it straight to the NBA finals. All right, gang. After simulating the conference finals, as y'all can clearly see, we went ahead and swept the Pelicans, bring the broom out. We ain't even no no difficulty at all. We ain't let them even get a game. And then on the Eastern Conference, the Milwaukee Bucks went ahead and 4-1 the Atlanta Hawks. Sorry, Trey. You might have got an easy first and second round, but you had to go up against Giannis in the Conference Finals, which ain't easy. So, yes, the NBA Finals will be the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Milwaukee Bucks. And let's not wait. Let's get straight into this because I honestly believe we're going to sweep them. We're going to sweep them, and I'm confident that we're going to sweep them. All right, so we're going to take it nice and slow. We simulated the first game, and we are now up 1-0. Let's go ahead and simulate the second game. After simulating the second game, we are now up 2-0. Again, another game simulated. The third game, we are up 3-0. Now, we are going to simulate using SimCast, so we just get a feel of what is actually happening through the four quarters of the game. So, as y'all can see, through the first quarter, we dropped 26. 20, we, we, we're going up. Let's just see how much we dropped at the end of the, four, of the first quarter. So at the end of the first quarter, we dropped 20, I mean 38 points, and they dropped 27. At the end of the second quarter, we both dropped 31 even. So now it's like we're still up, but we both did score the same amount in the second quarter. But this game is looking like a runaway. Like, I think it was over before. Uh-oh, wait, let, let me not speak too soon. They only down by a couple, uh, 20 points. Okay. All right, three minutes left. Okay, yep, it's looking like we caught the, yep, we are the champs, we are the champs, that's it, 133 to 113, and like I said before, we're gonna sweep them, and what did we do? We swept them, Chef Curry stars in a blowout win for the Timberwolves over the Bucks, 133 to 113. Now we're about to return back to the calendar and see who got finals MVP. Wow! Wow! All I got to say is wow, bro. I'm I'm just like I'm actually happy for my boy because I feel like out of everybody, he did the least this season, bro. He like come on, bro. Anthony Davis with the Finals MVP pickup. Like come on, bro. I'm happy for my boy. Let's go. All right, boys, it's been another 82 and 0 episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure if y'all enjoyed this video that you like, comment, subscribe if you're not, turn on those post notifications, and let me know if y'all want to see more of 82 and 0. And with all that, I'm gone.